I shoot faster, I start to miss. What is my, one of my biggest pet peeves is other people say, slow down. That doesn't give me anything. Everyone here has an inherent natural cadence in terms of your shooting. You guys have shot many years or however many rounds you've shot, that you've developed your natural cadence. I'm not gonna tell you to slow down, I'm not gonna tell you to speed up. You have your own case, you know when you're ready. My job here is to identify your inefficiencies in terms of your shooting, whether when your grip is, uh, when you're driving a gun back and target, we're gonna discuss that in a little bit, and when you're resetting, prepping that trigger, when the gun's ready versus you being ready. I wanna mar marry, marry, marry that disparity up a lot, more, a lot more and more. So I'm gonna do a quick demo real quick, I'm gonna show you guys something what I was talking about, pinning the trigger to the rear, leaving that recall back on target. All right, but before I do that, I wanna talk about the next two things. Driving the gun versus riding the recoil. What does that mean? Driving the gun. Right, this leads me to my next two things. Driving the gun is, is basically driving the gun and riding the recoil. Riding the recoil is people doing this, right? Bang. Bang. Just letting the gun go up and down as fast as you can. But how can you shoot fast with that? There's too much movement. You gotta control, control the gun. Driving the gun is bang, I'm driving the gun back on target. Right? As soon as it goes off, I see the I see the sights rise, I drive the gun back on target. So people talk about anticipation. There's two different anticipations. Mental and physical. One is a bad thing and one is a positive thing. Have you ever seen someone go out there and go, bam, bullseye, bam, bullseye, bam, on top of another, and then he goes empty and it's this, bam. And you see that. And you go, how the hell was he able to put round on top of round, but then he jerked the shit out of the trigger? Hey dude, you anticipated. Yes, but I did it in a different way, right? Not different way, just physically. So mentally is a breakdown. You've seen this, how many of you guys done this? I'm gonna hit that little small dime on target. Oh shit, and here it is. That's mental anticipation. That's where you mentally break down before the shot. You're trying to steer the gun towards where it is instead of trusting what you're doing with the gun, right? Physical anticipation is literally anticipating that recoil after the shot has been fired. That's, my, that's what I'm talking about. So it's, instead of breaking down right before the shot is fired or during the shot, you're literally relaxed, you're just paying attention to sights, trigger. As soon as he goes off, that's your stimulus. And your response is to drive the gun back on target. Boom, it's back on target. Boom, back on target. So it's everything you do within that dead space when the, dark, when the gun is out of battery, out of position, not on target, and what you do within that to gain time, basically to buy back time. You can't, you can't buy back time, but you're trying to make yourself as efficient as possible. So the, during the empty space, during this time in the recoil is when I actually reset and prep. So by the time the gun is back on target, I'm also ready to fire. Not guns on target, then I was like, oh yeah, I got, still got the sight, I still got my trigger to go to and stuff like that. Become efficient, that's how you shoot faster. So I'm gonna show you guys a little demo here. Um, I need one volunteer real quick, just to call out shots for me. Absolutely, get in, sir. Um, eyes and ears, guys, we're gonna go hot real quick. So basically, the demo here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have him call, bang. You, you, right, you understand, do you have any questions with what the difference between gun being ready with the shooter being ready, right? Nothing, you kind of know what I'm looking for. So what I'm looking for you to say is, you say bang the minute the gun is ready and I'm ready to shoot. Does that make sense? So all you're doing is looking at the target. You'll hear it, it's a steel plate. Don't look at the target, look at the gun. All right, I'm gonna do some effed up shit. I say bang. Yes, when I'm ready to shoot, you say bang. All right, don't mess this shit up. Okay. That's what right. <laughs> all right, you gotta blame somebody. All right, JJ. we're going hot, guys. JJ, you're comfortable on here? Yeah, absolutely. You can stand here if you'd like. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> All right. This is the RO. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, I'll just shoot these two plays. I'm going to go back and forth. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way up. All right? I'm going to shoot left, low left plate first, and I'm going to go right, and I'm just going to work my way up. All right? And your job is to... Once the gun's steady on target is when you say bang, all right? And I'm gonna show you the difference between inefficient and efficient in a much exaggerated way, all right? Bang. 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 All right, so the first one, to tell you the truth, it's really effed up, it's really hard to screw up your shooting. So the first two I actually did right, and he was like, ah, I don't know what this dickhead's doing. He jacked me up. So good job, but he said bang. You saw how there was some inefficiency there. What I was doing was, I was actually pinning the trigger to the rear. And a lot of people do that because they feel comfortable. They feel like they're controlling the gun by pinning the trigger to the rear, holding on to that trigger as they drop back on to the target before they let go of that trigger, right? That's a bad thing, that's a very inefficient thing. What a lot of people are doing, that's a symptom of people not trusting their gun. As they fire, they actually leave their focus on that front sight and sight picture that they already had and go to the target to see where it's going. That's why the gun's up here, because they're not focusing on that gun. 
I hit it, I go back on target. And that's why you see that mad rush to get back on target. All right? So the next one, I'm going to show you a slightly more efficient way. I'm not going to go any faster, but the difference is my rate of fire will become faster, but I'm actually taking the same exact amount of time on target, on sights with my trigger prep. All right? So here we go. Basically, clear. If it goes back against you, right? all right, good, we're good. All right. So basically, the difference. What was the difference there? Basically, what was the difference there? Be besides my shooting, just the rate of fire, slightly faster, right? But basically, I gave myself the same amount of time. I was just a lot more efficient on the other, the second way I was shooting it. All right. So basically, all you gotta do is attack that dead space when your gun is not on battery. When your gun is not on to point towards target, attack it, do something to make it back on target, to make that gun ready. And at the same time, do yourself a favor and get yourself ready. A lot of people here are so uncomfortable resetting prepping to the point where they're gonna they're gonna AD, they're, they're ND, whatever, they're gonna let that round go. But get to know your damn gun. You carry it for a reason. One of the best things you can do is get to know that trigger, familiarize yourself. So if someone gives me a gun, someone challenges me today and say, hey, use my gun. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get to know the length, the pull, and what, what, the, what it feels like when it breaks. Because I only have a few minutes to be able to figure that out. And once I learn that, that's what I'm going to take advantage of is when and how efficient I can be with that gun. So that's the goal here today. All right. So I'm going to take two or three shooters at a time. Come up here. How many shooters do I have here? Let's break it down real quick. Hey! Freaking nut. How you doing, man? Sorry. Sorry. So how many shooters do I have? It's a distraction. I'm a, I'm a big fan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so let's break it to three and four, all right? Um, yeah, that makes sense, right? Three plus four is seven. Let's break it three and four. And what I'll do is I'll walk down the line and I'll critique your shooting one at a time. I think we have another 30 minutes or so. Uh, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus in terms of how, where you're losing time, and I'm just gonna point it out. We won't have time to be able to really dissect you, but I'm gonna give you something to think about when you leave here, something to work on, and some, a goal for you to be able to hey, pick up, and that's where you'll gain speed. It's not about how fast you can pull that trigger. It's about how efficient you can get to the next shot. Cool? All right, easy enough. All right, first three up. 